Not so much happens here that is very different than happened here for a long time. Than when something that is loose out of the box in the street happens. I think it's unexpected for most of the people. I don't think people here have any idea of what this world that we live in is all about. So it's completely unexpected for them. So it's quite interesting to come here and do something like that. You know, where these people are like, wow, this is amazing, what's it, what's it all about, what does it mean? That's exciting. The obvious route for a lot of us artists is New York, LA, something like that, you know, but as Steve Clark says, why go into a room full of uh, people who are shouting when you can go into a quiet room and make your voice heard? So that was my intentions here. They are living their normal lives and suddenly the whole town is changing. This kind of change was very healthy and very exciting for everybody. Because usually when you go somewhere where there isn't murals everywhere or this type of work, you usually get a few, at least a few really negative reactions, but I didn't. So that was also unexpected for me, like it was, uh, it was a nice surprise. Well here at Port Smith, a few blocks from here is uh, the Arkansas River. We're also right in the middle of the crossroads of America. Our highway goes from one side of the country to the next. This was the outpost for the Indian Territories. People are very welcoming and very, like, honestly surprised. Because there are some beautiful buildings, there are some picturesque things. But most of all, it's a big highway, two sides. So it's like, it's good. These things will make people stop their car and walk the sidewalk. I think the difference between coming to smaller towns versus like painting in big cities is obviously there's that kind of element of people being a bit jaded in big cities, there's an oversaturation of this type of work and they're not shocked or surprised, you know, they just take it for granted and then you come somewhere where people, you know, aren't used to seeing it, you get like such a totally different reaction. You know, having painted a lot, it makes it more interesting to paint in places where people have to sort of seek it out and track it out to see it for real. I mean, everything's seen nowadays by, you know, free internet, isn't it, anyway? So, you know, in some respects, it, it's more interesting to paint somewhere where it's less noticed and visible. But for me, it, street, street art was about small interventions that interacted with individuals in an unknown, unexpected way. People say why, and then we always say why not. It shows all the artists that came, they can, they're all just saying the feedback is like, the place is amazing, people are the best, everyone's so inviting and appreciative of what we're doing. You know, it's just an injection of a new little world into this town and I think a lot of the locals learn from what we learn from it too, from the new experiences. I expect that it's something that you don't really plan. And most of the times are the best moments in life. You know? It's like what you don't expect that makes you really surprised and I think that's the relationship with art on the public space, the fact that it's not expected when you go on the street makes it having the impact that it has on people. The whole city and neighborhood came to town and enjoy what we were doing day by day. I really appreciate the artists and their artwork. This massive injection of creativity, of positive energy and hope the city wakes up, it's not stuck in the past anymore, it's opened new possibility for them, and that is why this type of event are essential. Yeah.